Welcome back to another video guys. I'm here today, same lake as last time. See if we can catch some walleye. I'm gonna try trolling instead of jigging this time. See how well that works and maybe map out some more of the lake. Um, hopefully you guys enjoy. See if we can't catch some walleye. Damn it, just lost a fish. Might be just crappy, but still a fish. Dropping down to the bottom. I don't see anything right now. He probably disappeared after I yanked the jig out of his mouth. Oh, there's something on bottom. That looks like looks like it could be a walleye. I'm gonna move back over on top of him because this wind's pushing me. I just let it sit on bottom there. See if he has it. Nope. There might be something on bottom. I see some bumpy stuff on bottom there. Could be a fish. Yeah, you can see there's one on bottom because you can see some, it's not completely flat right there. I'll go to the, there we go. I think he's just off to the side because I can't even see my lure. Oh, I see my lure. Yeah, that's a fish right there. My lure's right above it. That blue line. He's not yellow because he's off to the side. Might be another one coming up too. Just gonna let it sit there. And I'm gonna try to get back on top of them. Move back this way. Oh yeah, that was a crappy that just went and jumped up there. On a school of minnows here too. Hopefully there's something inside these minnows that I'll eat my jig. Caught something here, what is it? Oh, it's a nice crappy. Not too bad. So basically what I'm trying to do here is stay right on top of them. Because they're not moving very fast. And I'm just slowly jigging it right above their heads. Did not seem like they're interested. Oh, he might still be there. Just a big blob of, must be bait fish or something right there. And I'm guessing those were walleye and they're probably just mixed in with the bait fish. Hooked up with a, I'm guessing this is a nice walleye. Come on, oh. Yeah. There we go. 
That's a nice size walleye. It's actually smaller than I thought. It's a nice size. Might actually keep him. Beautiful fish. See the there's a few walleye down there. Or I'm not sure if they're walleye or if they're crappy. But I just came along this hump here. It hops up a few feet and then right on top of it, all of a sudden, boom, there's fish. It's funny how just a few feet of a hump can make such a difference there. I don't see them now because I went past them, but hopefully they see my jig. And I switched it up. I was using the bucktail jig before. And they didn't seem to, uh, they, they looked at it, but they weren't biting it. And then I switched to a, a jigging wrap. Then I hooked that walleye right away. Oh yeah, there's something right on bottom. Let's see if we can get him to come up. Oh, there we go. There's one. Feels like a nice one. Oh, that's a weed. I just, I just, oh, he's still there. He's still there. I got the tiniest little nibbles from big walleye there. And I failed the hook set because I did it way too early. Oh, dang it. When you feel tiny little nibbles like that, doesn't feel like they're on, don't set the hook like I did way too early. Sometimes you can let it sit there for a few seconds and they'll swallow it and then you can set the hook. Well, that's it for today. I didn't catch any more walleye or crappy, just the one of each. And uh, I did see a lot more and they were just being very finicky. They would come off the bottom a little bit and just sort of sit there and then just go back down. Um, but at least I know where they are. So I'm going to come back here during ice fishing season and hopefully hook into some nice walleye. Thanks for watching. If you like this, hit the like button and subscribe. Uh, catch you on the next video.